Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever on the North Atlantic map. Uh, we're starting out near Berlin, as is so often the case, and uh, and we're following... Well, we, we would have been following, uh, had it not just got, gone underground, the, um, uh, the, the bulk delivery of construction goods. Uh, which up till recently was uh, was using a, a class 37 uh, uh, washing machine on rails uh, but I've just I, in the last minute uh, I have upgraded it to uh, to be this this rather splendid electric number um, uh, still hauling the same amount but it's got a little bit more power a bit more uh, a bit more grunt generally speaking I did, the only the only problem I've really got with it is it's the wrong color um, uh, you know, such as such as we care about these things. Uh, let's just let's just colour that in, shall we? I think I think we're going to not mess around. We're just going to make it black. There they are, splendid. So yes, it goes sailing through Paris in that way that trains often sail, uh, on its way to pick up as many construction materials as it possibly can in order to feed all of the uh, the. We're flying through a lot of buildings here. Uh, it's like a like a deleted scene from Pacific Rim. Um, uh, yes, in order to feed the, uh, the the kind of the mass goods distribution stuff that we've got going on out in what we're calling Hamburg, but it's probably Rotterdam. But you know, frankly, it occupies quite a lot of the uh, of continental Europe's uh, northern coast, uh, and that is set to expand in today's episode. I. It doesn't really matter where you look at the moment. There's so much stuff going on. It's really rather splendid. Um, anyway, yes, further goods expansion and not just trains is what awaits you today. So stay tuned and things will occur. Right, so as you can see, uh, before I turn off all of this, uh, this icon stuff in order to... Well, I mean, it helps the frame rate a little bit, uh, which makes things a bit smoother. Plus, it gets in the way of the view. Uh, but yeah, I mean, all these, uh, you know, I've got some food waiting, I've got some construction materials waiting. What I don't have waiting is, uh, is oil at present. Well, fuel. Uh, I want to get rid, no, yeah, yeah, kill that and that. There we go, that should be it. There we are, that is it. Um, yes, I don't have those waiting. I'm also, uh, charging up my, uh, my balance so that I can replace all of the cars on here, all of the, uh, all of the trucks, wagons, whatever you want to call them, with, um... Uh, with European equivalents. We, we're running American box cars on a European service. What a, what a mistake to make. And, you know, what kind of an idiot would make that mistake? I'm that kind of idiot. Uh, and I've made that mistake. Um, so, yeah, we're getting food deliveries through. Not in a huge... Not in huge volumes, uh, if I'm honest. But, uh, but insufficient to, uh, to, uh, to keep us going. Anyway, I need more oil coming in. Uh, these two, three trucks, uh, you know, quite happily, um, just you know, peddling stuff left, right, centre. But uh, with no ships, that's that's not going to pay off for them. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do today is another one of these Swifty Goods Line setups, um, where we're gonna we're gonna bring oil uh, down past Stockholm, straight to the refinery. Now I see when I set up my my big swanky depot. One of my my plans was that I never I never built any further depots. So the first thing I need to do is actually branch this out. And already I can feel that this is a slightly more convoluted product, product project. That's a good word um, than I had uh, I had originally intended. But you know, it, 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 there's no point in having goals if you're not going to you know make an effort to stick to them. Go on, go on. You can you can place it. That's that's fine. That's that's a lovely sound. You you keep on with making that lovely sound. Um, now we shouldn't need to come back again, but just in case we do, uh, I don't think that's going to take for a second. No, uh, how about something like this? Ooh, hello, what do you got there? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I'll do a bit of that just in case it needs to come back the other way. It probably won't ever unless I send it back to the depot. Um, but uh, you never know. So next up. Uh, now, this is going to be, you know, as straightforward a goods line as it's possible to do. And I know we said we weren't going to do a lot with uh, with trucks, but uh, with, with trains, rather. But we have to do some. I mean, it is the most efficient way to, uh, to you know, just mosey stuff around. Uh, small country road. There we are. Uh, I want to pull that out here. Right, and then 
go around the corner a bit. Yeah, and then over. No, over here, over there, like that. Ah, uh, well, it's near enough. No one's, no one's really going to notice. It's just a service road anyway. Right, next station, uh, terminal. Uh, turn it around so that we can see where we're heading, which is just there. No, in fact, by the, this is this is about as straightforward as it's possible. Though, you know, both figuratively and literally straightforward. Uh, right, about that there would we'll probably be fine. Right, high speed it might as well, uh, and electrification might as well. Uh, we only need one track because this is this is literally just going to be a shuttle. And then we will do the same with uh, with a fuel uh, kind of shipping dock port harbour kind of a thing. If I can, if I can fit one on the end here. In fact, the wise thing to do here, if we set this to be goods, um, is to set this up first. Now, uh, what I want is I want to make it nice and easy. For my my ships to get in, get loaded, and turn around, because uh, we'll be running oh a couple, a couple of ships up and down here, and I think this is going to be the easier place to put it. If we just twizzle that a smidge. Now, do I place that first, or do we place the, we place the road first, and then you have a fighting chance of it actually being able to connect up? If you don't if you don't connect the road first. You've got virtually no chance of it being able to connect up. Right, let's stick that on there. A bit of this. How how interested in uh, can I can I interest you in in connecting up to that? I'm going to guess that's a no. All right, I'm going to put that there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go on, get get yourself placed there, friend. Uh, get rid of that again. It's all right. I've got a smoothing tool and I know how to use it. And then. Without any fighting at all, it's going to get straight on there in range of the refinery. In in range of the ref in, it's going to get up there without any fuss, uh, with with no hassle. Let's take it up a little. Take it up a little more. What I don't want to be doing is having to set up a you know a a, a truck shuttle. And as much as I'm quite fond of them, no, we're gonna we're Oh, hello. Too much slope. Yeah, I thought as much. All right. Well, you know what? If there's too much slope, we'll just uh, we'll make it so that there's less slope, won't we? There we are. Right there. Now let's try that on. That looks pos That that looks good. That looks great. Tell me you're in range. Perfect. Uh, okay. Good. Now let's upgrade this bit of road thank you and then let's run this bit of road out here don't I, i'm gonna make it look less hideous in a moment although you know to be honest uh, you know concealing my uh, my oil refining uh in this area is going to keep those happy guys at greenpeace maybe a little bit more oblivious to the fact that you know here we are doing some doing some planet wrecking because otherwise they'll 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 swoop in. They'll have they'll have a boat outside and some sort of water cannon, uh, and they'll, they will be objecting very loudly. Uh, right, trees. Give me trees. Activate tree gun. Let's go with conifers here. I think. Yeah. Although these are less conifers. These are more just you know evergreens, I suppose. Anyway, we'll we'll bang them all in here. Yeah, see, doesn't that look nice? Of course, I'll probably end up bulldozing half of these when I uh, run my train line in. But uh, hey ho! Uh, right, okay. So the uh, the oil well is over there. Need a bit of road, uh, which is going to look a little like that. I don't. I don't really. Uh, well, you you adjust your your height as much as you feel you need to. Right, and we'll go from there. All right, and a bit of that. Like that. Okay, good. Right, now, nice. Uh, uh, we want another one of these. Whack it around. Uh, and then point it vaguely in the, in the direction we want to go. That'll do. And then, 
Couldn't couldn't be easier. Couldn't could not be easier. Da da da. Ha, da, da, da. Let's not get complacent. While it might be quite simplistic, we don't want to wreck it by just kind of you know smashing it through the middle and crashing the game or something. Uh, right now that comes out here. All the care and attention in the world. That's what we're that's what we're throwing at this. You know what I haven't looked at for a while. I haven't looked at my balance sheet to see how much we're actually making. Um, uh, it's definitely going up, and that's a good sign. I imagine I've got you know several services at the moment that uh, that are unprofitable, uh, but I imagine they're being offset by the ones that are you know truly powerhouse profit makers. There we go. Right, so that's uh, done. Good. Now, next mission is we're going to delete this road bridge because I hate it. I mean, look at it. What a what a state that is. Go on, get out. Well, that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. That's what I had in mind. There you go. All right, and take that back there. Now, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave it severed. Uh, I don't, I mean, you know, for once, I actually, you know, I quite like the idea of having a having a road bridge across here. Um, but uh, first off, bit of smoothing like that. Yeah, right. Got it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, bit of smoothing this end. What what I would rather do is pillar up um, a little higher up so that the bridge stays at. A, well, come on, just up the. Brush strength. Let's not hang around. Smooth the hell out of this thing. Down you go. Don't spare the expenses. And there's, there's still a lump in there. You know what? Let's just let's just do that. Let's just cut away the uh, the edge of the of the land here. There we are. Create some kind of I don't know something. There we are. That'll do. Right. Now, uh, road. Uh, country road. Let's go for something large-ish. Large-ish. Uh, let's not be too extravagant. Uh, I know. That was me just said that. Um, right. And then go straight across like that. And it's a million quid. But, and it's going to be more than that when I pull, pay the full whack for it. But that's, you know, better. Uh, that doesn't look robust enough. That does, though. That's that's a that's a picture of engineering. Yeah, there we are. Uh, now I don't think I even needed to do that. I suspect that that ships would have got under there without too much hassle anyway. But uh, uh, you know, I I think it was high time that we uh, we paid some attention to our road infrastructure and and just made it a little bit better. There we are, a bit of that, and then up here. Let's delete this back. There we are. Perfect. Look at that. See? That's that's what people like. Uh, good. I'm, I don't even use that road. That's that's just me doing a courtesy for the AI. Because um, I'm in that kind of mood. Right. Now then. Uh, so we're going to be running a line from... Let's, let's get that set up first. Uh, so this is going to be our, uh, our oil distribution here. Now... I mean, there's the. I mean, I have the opportunity to uh, to also. Uh, I could I could truck stuff uh, out to Copenhagen. Actually, no, I'd be cannibalizing my. Um, uh, what the hell do you hold here? Where one? This uh, fuel bulk. There you go. See, I'm done. Let's get that named. Um, yeah, I could come back with a full load of fuel and then distribute it by truck or by train or something along those lines in order to, to kind of maximize the profitability on the ships. But to be honest, um, I don't think that's really necessary uh, because the train itself, I would rather that was full. So I don't want to uh, I don't want to eat into its its potential profits. Uh, right. Stop with that. Let's uh, let's commission two new uh, tankers. Two should do the trick, right? Uh, where are they? I believe it's the no, it's the, it's the viola, right? I'll have two of them, and that's. I mean, this is probably overkill, but uh, they're they're relatively cheap to run, and it shouldn't be COP, it should be CPH. But uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll worry about that in a bit. Actually, you know, we haven't watched a ship being born for a little while. 
There we go. Magnificent. Especially if we get a shot that ignores the other one in place. And here comes one coming in from Canada now. And you're carrying, I mean, 22. Yeah, I mean, we, we do need to up the tempo on, uh, on fuel delivery. So there we go, we've got that rolling. Uh, and uh, the reason for, for setting that in motion first, for those of you who haven't watched, you know, a million episodes of this stuff, uh, is is simply to ensure that... Uh, um, let's ensure what? Ensure that the route's kicked off before I put too many ships in motion. Otherwise, things don't work. Uh, trains, trains in motion. Goodness me, what's going on with my brain? Um, right, okay, so I need to get a train out there, which means I need to get trains over onto the passenger line effectively. I think we can I think we've got a merge here that will uh, that will allow me to uh, to run through. In fact, I'm certain it'll work. So let's get one let's get one bought. Uh, right, I'm not gonna run well, I don't know what I'm gonna run. Uh, we're in Scandinavia, so we can run uh, we can run anything we like. Oh, look at this NSB. Oh, that's, that's nice and beefy. Um, yeah, that'll do nicely. Okay, this is an uh, an EI, an EL. I reckon it's an EI. An EI-18. Uh, there you go. Uh, they're, they're probably good. And then we want some wagons on there. Tank wagon, tank car. Wagon, someone said, was European. Car is American. I've possibly got that wrong. Tanker, in this case, is Korean. Okay. Well, actually, I've got one of those running in uh, uh, in North America, so I think we'll have one of those. Uh, let's have it haul 270 for now, and we'll see where we get to with it. Let's uh, set it on a route that I haven't created yet. Let's use the new line button. Here we are. And one of these, uh, yep, and one of those. Yeah, did that, uh, did that, uh, it seems to have done it. Right, okay, so this is going to be uh, Copenhagen uh, uh, oil, oil bulk. There we go. Right, now, all being well, that will, uh, you know, that will be fully operational by the time we we get to the end of the show um you know we we live in hope now i've given it an angle that i think is going to work well for it and, and we're, we're really putting a great deal of faith in the in the pathfinding here to be able to get that set up but you know we have kind of paused at the first hurdle and we'll, we'll take the opportunity to give it a look Look at that! I mean, you know, that's a that's a lovely shot. Okay, frame it a little bit, show it's waiting at a signal. Everybody's happy. All right. Um, meanwhile, what are you waiting for? You're waiting for this to try and fill up. What's it actually got on board? It's got 47 construction materials and two food. Well, that could be better, couldn't it? How about, what are you? You're not carrying anything because we don't take anything back yet. You're bringing in another 55. Now, I have downloaded the uh, the 747 cargo uh, mod. Um, and uh, and I'll be putting that into uh, into service uh, in, in the next couple of episodes. But um, uh, we're still running the same set for now. If you do subscribe to the, um, uh, the, the workshop collection for this series, I've just added a bunch more stuff. And it should be turning up fingers crossed uh, on screen pretty soon right are we there am I, I told you to wait till full haven't I this is why you're having a you know why you're, why you're being stroppy right there we are what's that I'll just go at any point there we are don't bother hanging around it's very unlikely you're going to get anything turn up and make a delivery I mean, it, w it was less about, you know, waiting till full, more about the, the, the speed that this can complete its route. 
meant that it, it kind of made sense for it to hang on um, to see if extra stuff was delivered. Uh, right, while we're waiting for that lot to clear, I just want to nip over to the, the port in, uh, in Port Nelson and have a look and see what we've got waiting. Right, we have uh, fuel galore waiting to, uh, waiting to ship out, which is great. Uh, we got nothing waiting to go to Hamburg, which is a bit of a worry. Because we should have all sorts waiting to go to Hamburg. That said, we have just got a delivery turning up. It's only got 37 on board. I mean, what am I paying you people for? And then, down here, we've got 465 fuel waiting to go to Chicago. And uh, the train doesn't carry anything like that amount. The, the prioritization uh, in this game is very odd indeed. Right, what have we got here? We've got 350 food waiting. So this will be where I... Uh, um, uh, where I add the, the 747 eventually uh, but for now we'll just add another 757 we'll add another two 757s there we are because they're you know they're all doing good work and eventually uh, we will have these um, uh, bringing stuff back as well quite what they'll be bringing back I've, I've yet to decide but uh, They'll, they'll bring something back that I can ship in boxcars so that all of the services I've got coming in here already can, can effectively double up so we can we can get more stuff going. So there we go. Right, that's... You'll even be able to tell which the new ones are because they're blue rather than orange. There you go. But, uh, but to say that, uh, that I'm running quite a lot of planes on this route is a, is a bit of a bit of an understatement. Anyway, we made 109 million last year. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident now in, in the way we're running stuff. Air costs 22.8 million. Air income 21 million. So the sooner I can double up on these uh, on these freight planes, the, uh, the better off we're going to be. Uh, water cost us 5, made 10. Perfect. Rail uh, cost 260 made 370 very nice indeed uh, and that's been the trend for the last whew, last couple of years uh, including this year um, and I've you know I've not been backward in spending this year either we spent what 16 million quid on trains another couple on the road in fact we've bought 60 million quids worth of uh, of new vehicles which added to everything else uh, would take us over the 110 mark. So we're we're printing money. Uh, we are now effectively playing with uh, with uh, money with costs switched off. As long as I keep my wits about me. Uh, so there we go. So that's that's all working to a degree. Uh, food is certainly working, but I I'm a little bit bothered about why we're not getting anything now going to Hamburg. Where are you heading? You went into Edinburgh. That's all right. Uh, and you? You're carrying 35 fuel to Hamburg. Uh, and I suspect it's because I've hit the limits, you know. I, I, I probably hit the uh, the cap of what can be uh, run at once. Where is my oil train? And why are you two passenger fools giving priority to the goods train? That makes less than no sense. Let's let's stick a signal on here because I I want to give I want to give priority to the passengers. I firstly they're quicker. Uh, secondly, they're quicker. There we are. But the, that that throughput uh, goods train just there blocked off two passenger units. Shocking. And why are you waiting? Where are you going? Yeah, you're going where you're supposed to be going. So are you. Why are you waiting? Are you waiting? Are you waiting for the uh, for the oil train to go through? All right, I'll allow that because the the oil train's only going to do this once. 
But even so, there should never be an incident where uh, where passenger is waiting for freight, unless it's you know uh, extraordinary circumstance. What what just happened there? Something just got very confused. How did you what 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 happened? All right, well something just got completely perplexed. I mean, you were going the other way not not a minute ago, and now you're back again. I I don't I don't know what's going on here. I said, I'm going to hope that it was me placing that signal that caused the trouble, because uh, if it was something else, then I'm at a bit of a loss to know how to fix it. Yeah, anyway, there's. Uh, I oh, could have missed a, a very nice trains crossing one another moment in time. But see, that's not so bad. That's that's a nice enough shot. It's not the longest oil train you're ever going to see. It's doing a nice 62, 63 miles per hour. Perfectly, perfectly reasonable for a train of this length. Okay, now that's clear. Uh, we should start to see some action. Where have my ships got to? Here we go. This looks promising. So here's a viola. And then... That's going to run through uh, through the straits here, and uh, and hopefully, hopefully start to deliver some uh, some fuel oil to uh, to Hamburg, uh, which in turn will mean that all of those mixed freight uh, trains that we've got running there start to make a bit more cash. I'm I'm on board with this. Um, okay, right. Okay, now I'm going to leave that going for just a little bit longer. But I want to talk about what's coming up next. We won't get to it today because it's you know it's a biggie. Uh, but uh, I want to talk about what we're going to do next because it's going to be upsetting. Um, right. So over here we're going to make goods. Come on, zoom in. Thank you. We're going to make goods, and uh, there we are, right there. Goods. Pretty miscellaneous of, as, as names go, but that's what we're making. It's going to require steel, and it's going to require wood or plastic. Okay, right now we've got. I mean, I could have made it. I could have made it in Britain, but I've already I've already set up the infrastructure. So just shut up. Uh, so we have to take the uh, the iron ore to somewhere that will turn that into steel. Which, as luck would have it, we've already got set up just outside Paris. Hello there. Um, and then, what are you? What are you chaps doing? They are doing something with construction materials. Interesting. Oh, that, this is the French construction material stop. Don't don't panic yourself, man. This is all working properly. You've got it all working. It's fine. Uh, yeah. So we're going to bring in um, uh, iron ore. Uh, from the the north coast of, of France, the, the the west coast of France, uh, and that will come in here and get dropped off and get turned eventually into steel when we bring in some coal, which we'll be bringing in from just outside London. Well, actually, that's actually nowhere near London. I mean, what are you talking there? Is that what's that? Maybe Cambridge, perhaps. Um, we'll we'll whiz that in and down here as well, and and I'm pretty sure I've got the route set up already. There's going to need to be some signalling happening there, but that in turn will generate uh, the uh, the the steel that we need. Meanwhile, we've also got a lumber mill here. All I need is the lumber for the mill. I know this coal's closer, but it's not such a fun route. Uh, lumber, 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 anywhere. Did I, did I identify this previously and I even set it up uh, and now I'm just, you know, like an Egypt looking for looking for a fresh supply? What have we got out here? Nothing. Scandinavia, not one bit of lumber. Ireland, maybe? No. Okay. All right. Well, this is going to be, this is going to be trickier than I perhaps gave it credit. Where are we? There must be some lumber. I mean, there's another lumber mill. Brilliant. I mean, that's only any good if you've got any flipping trees in the first place. Uh, Italy, no. Spain. 
I mean, it, we're coming from a very long way away now. Um, North Africa. North, <laughs> North Africa. Well, it's doable. I mean, it's not the, it's not going to be the fastest. I'm going to have to run a lot in order to keep demand up there. That's going to take an awfully long time to get started. And it's going to have to be by ship. Because I don't think, can you do uh, by plane? I'm not going to find out on there, am I? Uh, can you do raw lumber by plane? I very much doubt it. Uh, what have we got here? Can you... Uh, look, chaps, can you give me any kind of an insight as to what you're allowed to carry? I don't think you can. Alright, I'm going to assume not because that feels like a, 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 a sensible call to make. Anyway... Hey, look, you know, we're in this for the... for, for long train deliveries. Um... So we're going to have, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to run the line that, um, I mean, we could, I've got a couple of choices. And, uh, that can't also, that can't possibly be the only, the only lumber on the map. Then, I mean, there's probably some in the States uh, or in North America generally. Yeah, we've got some outside Kansas City. Uh, you know, that could, that could work. Um... Well, you say that could work. I mean, again, you're going to have to ship it somewhere and then run it out. In which case, you, you're better off going here in... I mean, where are we here? Newfoundland? We've got tons outside Port Nelson. But Port Nelson is already, you know, stuffed to the gills. But hey, you know, more transatlantic shipping is a good thing, right? That's That's something we want to see. Okay, so... We either ship it from Africa, or we ship it from Canada, or we ship it from both Africa and Canada. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, okay, yeah, so next time around, what we're going to do is set up two shipping lines. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going to be it's going to be dramatic, to say the least. Have we got any oil? We've got oil. Oil is now waiting. Uh, did you pick up fuel by any chance? Have we actually kicked off to that degree yet? There we go. So the fuel will flow, um, or, or is flowing, uh, and that's that's a bit of progress, because that will help bump up the, the productivity we've got going on here. Anyway, tune in next time where we're going to be swearing at trees, uh, and, uh, you know, what have trees ever done to us, apart from, you know, give us a whole load of oxygen. Speaking of which, I could go absolutely do landy with a tree gun around here, and, uh, and no one... Uh, no one would mind at all. That would be very popular. Uh, let's let's watch the uh, let's finish where we started. Anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, sling a like at this one if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you've not yet done so. Uh, and I'll be back very soon with some ships. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.